Hi guys, welcome to Roadmap. Today we are going to learn about animal fibers, wool and silk. So if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. The topics to be covered are Introduction Fibers obtained from animals Ship farming Shearing and processing of wool Silk production Processing of silk Introduction Now there are different natural fibers like plant and animal fibers. Why do we require them? So that to obtain different variety of fabrics as they protect us from heat, cold, rain etc. There are plant fiber such as hemp, cotton, jute, flax, coir and animal fibers such as silk and wool. Wool now, from where we get wool? Wool is obtained from domesticated animals like goat and sheep. It is also obtained in lesser quantities from yak, camels and rabbit. Wool is versatile, durable and elastic fiber. Now in the diagram, you can see the fleece of sheep. These are nothing but the threads of the sheep. And these are removed so that we can make it into yarn and finally into woolen cloths. Now animal yielding wool. There are different animals which are used to obtain wool. There are different breeds of sheep, goat, camel, rabbit, yak from which we can get wool. The sheep provides fine shine and length of different breeds. The finest wool obtained from merino sheep is the famous one. There are different goat breeds such as Kashmiri, Kati, Chamba, Angora. From the Angora goat, fiber obtained is called as mohair. The famous Kashmiri shawls called as Pashmina shawls obtained from Kashmiri goats. Camel, Bactrian camel from Siberia, Mongolia, China have got best quality of wool and a male camel yields 12 to 15 kg of wool while a female yields 6 to 8 kg. Alpaca and llama in South America are soft, fine and lustrous. The rabbit fine quality of wool obtained is Angora rabbit and the Yak from Tibet and Ladakh give finest wool quality. Now coming to the ship farming. What is ship farming? It is nothing but rearing of domesticated animals so that we can obtain wool. The whole processing is done. Further in the slide we will see the processing how it is done. And ship farming is commercially done. Now you can see in the picture there is a group of ships. This is nothing but flocks. And the group is called as herds. Now ship require food and water. So that they can give fine quality of wood, wool. The uh, ship eats twice a day grass as they are herbivorous animals. Now ship rearing is done. Ship rearing is nothing but fleece of ship is removed with the help of clippers or scissor as it is not possible with the help of hand and uh, the processing is done to obtain wool or different fabrics. Processing of ship to fabrics, shearing of wool is done where the fleece is removed from the animal and with the help of clippers or scissors. Then the scoring and washing is done to avoid the dirt and dust. After that the sorting and grading is done where the separation of threads is done depending upon their length and textures. The animals are cream in color so it is necessary to do dyeing so that we can obtain different colors. 
and then the threads are converted into yarn with the help of spinning. The knitting is done to obtain sweater and weaving is done to obtain woolen fabrics. Now there are famous countries which are contributor of wool. China, Argentina, Australia and New Zealand. The Australia is the largest contributor of wool and it is 29%. Now how the silk production is done? A female silk moth lays eggs which are incubated at 25 degrees celsius these legs after three to four weeks form larva the larva shed on mulberry trees this is called as molting the caterpillar further forms cocoon which is called as pupa stage in a week and finally the cocoon develop into a silk moth. Now there are different silk moth. The common one is mulberry silk moth. Tassar, Kosa and Moga are the other silk. And the silk producing states in India are especially the south one, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Assam, Orissa and Madhya Pradesh also produces silk. So thank you for watching.